everyone, welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder, and we're doing another episode of our Let's Play series. A few things to update you on. I've been logging, making a little bit of money. Um, and on top of that, I've gone and got rid of, of Auto Drive. Auto Drive was a great um, mod for helping us automate some of our drive time back and forth between places for loading and unloading of things. And not that it's cheating, because, I mean, all mods are cheating, because it's not the base game. Uh, my real issue with it was it was causing game crashes, and I needed to get rid of that problem so I could actually record. I had to do one of those episodes all over again, even though it happened, I had to force close my computer to then uh, redo the work that you guys saw on video. So that's the only bit of saved game is actually what was saved on video. Um, with that being said, then, um, I... You know, I had to get rid of it uh, in order to do the work I wanted. Uh, and so now we just have to drive between every place. That's just what we got to do. Um, so hopefully this game uh, is now getting uh, a much easier to, to work with, uh, despite um, uh, the fact that auto drive is no longer in effect. We, we can still do a lot of the same things. So... Um, also, you guys saw that I spilt that thing on the ground. Well, I still spilled it on the ground, and I moved it over here. Okay, I figured out how to actually start using it. I got to use this machine to pick it up and spit it into this machine. The real question is, is can I pick it up with that milling machine to pick it up and spit it into the uh, actual uh, tractor's uh, seeder machine here? So. Um, that's something I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to look into. <laughs> We're gonna have to try that out. So, but I do have this new tractor that I think is a better uh, upgrade. It is uh, a little bit of a cheat because it is a medium-sized tractor for a lot cheaper than most other medium-sized tractors. But I think that there's no reason why a medium-sized tractor with just slightly better horsepower should cost seventy grand more than a small tractor with you know only 10 horsepower less um so anyways so we that's pretty much all i've been doing has been finishing off that seating oh and one other major change i've done is that i have changed the seasons from six days to uh hold us yeah to three days and the reason why i've done that is because this this series would take way too long i'd be burning a lot of daylight just doing logging in the meantime, while we wait for stuff, because um, you can't do anything with a little bit of money. And so I didn't want to uh, spend the next five in-game days at 5% pace um, just locking. It's just not something I was looking forward to doing. So with that being said, um, I just wanted to get a move on with it a little bit more, see what would happen a little bit faster for our seasons. Three days sounds reasonable. It's enough time. As we saw, a day and a half, we were able to do a good chunk of the seeding. Um, and every season, it looks like we could do these major fields. Um, I could always increase the seasons. Decreasing them always knocks them back. So I was on day two of early spring before. Now I'm back on day one because I dropped it down to three-day seasons. So this I have an area of the map that I found that you could do some logging. So that's what I've been doing here. Has been logging in this area here. Not all trees are cuttable or are all that great to cut. Um, this one here, um, again, I'm cheating, guys. You can hate me for it all you want. Um, this tree here is great for that. So I've been essentially just doing this uh, one tree at a time in order to uh, make my living right now while we wait for the season to Alright, what the heck is going on with this tree? Jeez, okay. Log in there. So this is what I've been doing, little by little. Um, my actual seeding machine. What the heck is going on? Oh my goodness! The tree is does not want to be cut, apparently. Well, sorry, you're getting cut. Jeez. Will you cooperate now that there's less of you? Nope, you don't want to get closer. Um, jeez. 
all sorts of issues with this tree. This tree does not want to move, does not want to get closer. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this. This might be my last run for a little bit. I mean, this is essentially what I'm going to be doing for a while, has been cutting these guys up and making runs to, to do this work. Oh, look at that. You worked out. Climb in, strap you, and off we go. Probably could fit more, but it's a big tree, and I don't want to cause glitches in the game. Uh, so, back to the grind. We're about to hit uh, nighttime here. Um, I'm going to sleep um, from darkness to the next day. Uh, there's no reason to stay awake and work through the night cutting trees. I mean, I guess I could other than to make more money, but it's just frustrating driving at night. Um, plus, i got to pay more money to my hired workers to do work after a certain period um, and I don't want to do that so that is what I am going to try to avoid by sleeping I don't know what time exactly that it costs me more but as soon as it's dark time you know darkness that's when I'll do the switch over to sleeping five logs loaded 1.3 tons, total 2.7 meters in length. Sorry, my cat's chewing my shoelaces, and I don't want to choke. Once we're done selling these sets of logs, we are going to go check on our fertilizer situation uh, and seed situation in that one tractor. Because I'd like to finish seeding. I, I might just let that machine run out and that be the end of it, whether or not it finishes the field or not. I don't know, because it's going to require quite a lot of seed to do that. Hop out. Sell. Much more profitable trees than than before. Oh no, don't fall in. Getting out of there is not easy. I'm trying to use the... Come on, cruise control? There we go. Um, let's see. Weed's going up in price. I thought about maybe doing some contracts. Um, I don't know that they're going to be worth our time in every case, but um, I don't want to buy anything. I see, I might do some cultivating ones with other people's equipment um, just to get some money. That might be something we do. There's no reason that logging gets a little old. Uh, we could do some other things. That's another thing we'll probably do is to could do a couple of contracts. Stop here. What are we dealing with? Only three percent more seed left to go. Do I have any more seed purchased anywhere else? I don't seem to have anywhere else. So this is going to be last of it. Oh, I'm so close, though. I feel like I should just finish it off. So we're going to buy some more seed. Oh, I don't want seed bags. I want the seed pallet. Time to go get the seed pallet. We can load it onto this tractor, tra uh, this trailer situation here. out to them. Hey, slow down. You're going too fast. Wow, I just sold $3,000 worth of stuff and now I feel like I just use that to buy seed. That's all I got. That's all I got to show. Let's 
to go so far just to get... We're almost there, kind of. I might invest at some point, obviously, so I don't have to keep driving my tractor down here. A uh, pickup truck. Pickup trucks are always great for quick delivery of seed and fuel and what other things that you can fill in a tank. Tank is empty, so good thing we're grabbing the seed. I knew it was coming that we were going to need to grab seed, so perfect timing. Speaking of seed, if you guys are interested in what I do for a living, I work for a uh, grass seed company. Not Scott's, not Scott's, not not Pennington, but a brand, a uh, competitor brand to it, a more niche brand, high quality seed blend company called Jonathan Green, and um, they make, uh, they are having seed uh, dilemmas in this world right now uh, because of climate change issues and forest fires and other things. They are having uh, seed shortages. So I know a little bit or two, I think, about seed shortages right now. I don't know anything about agricultural seed, but lawn seeds, I could tell you all about them. That's why one of my biggest uh, things about this game that I think that could be improved about from Farming Simulator is that I have all these different kinds of farming options. We have different crops, different harvesters, different machines, different sale points, different productions. Like now that I'm talking about productions in Farming Simulator 22, I've always wondered why there isn't sod farming or grass seed farming. Like, you can grow grass here, and you can seed with grass and cut the grass and make silage. But you can't make sod, like, for our houses, like you see here, to then, you know, harvest sod. And I think sod would be a really cool harvesting. And if not uh, sod harvesting, why not seed harvesting? Even if it's seed harvesting for the crops that we're harvesting here, like alfalfa or wheat seeds, like why can't I harvest the seed and just sell the seed? Why do I have to sell grain, which I'm assuming is, I don't know anything about the agricultural business, but I'm assuming those two things are the same, and when are they considered edible seed things versus uh, um, grains in which that are seeds for growing purposes? I, I don't know the difference, so something I need to know more about. But otherwise, in the seed business and lawn seed business, I don't see why we couldn't have sod farming here. I think sod farming would be great. Like, it would work similar to baling, except of a machine, though, that bales what's been cut by a harvester. It would harvest the top uh, portion of the ground and removing soil and grass all at once and you'd essentially make large round rolls of grass uh, sod like you would bales of hay and they'd be roughly the same size and you would pick them up and harvest them like you would with bales with the bale collector um, I think that would be a pretty cool thing but that's not something that they have included yet I've written to developers about it though I think it would be a great little addition Let's see if this will work. Actually, back it up a hair. Whoa, what am I doing? Whatever, just need to get it closer. There we go. Now we know it'll work. Hopefully, the fertilizer takes it the rest of the way. So we'll let this guy continue to do his business, even if it means overnight work. And now we have a little bit of seed left over. Let's top it off. Hopefully enough fertilizer. finish off the field. 
If it's not enough fertilizer to finish off the field, I'm not going to sweat it. But... Oh, jeez. I knew I shouldn't have done this. I'm going to have to smooth out one of these lanes just so that the traveling between my fields is a lot easier. I might grab the landscape stool. Or the stool. Landscape tool to fix that. That's really annoying. All right. We can bring this over to our shed here and drop it off. Bought like a total of three or four pallets of seed already this season. All right. It's getting dark. Um, if I went to sleep now, what is this, 6.30? It's almost too early to go to sleep. This tractor is too large and this trailer is too small. Jesus. I stink at driving. to lime that field. Is that something I could do? Oh no, we've already discussed this. I can't lime it because I've already uh, yeah, that stinks because I've already uh, I've already seeded it and it's too late. Here's a little interesting thought. Can I hook this up to the back side? <sighs> I can. I am not strong enough to lift it up. So that is not going to work. Well, that was a major fail, everyone. Alright, so other than this guy finishing off the job, not much else I could do in the dark. It's springtime, so it would be dark around this time, so... Uh, here it is at 6.30 p.m. Do I go to sleep now and wake bright and early? I think that makes a lot of sense. So 6.30, so 12 hours will put me to 6.30 again. Oops. So let's do 11 hours. Well, still not enough, but now I probably can't sleep. Oh, no, I can. Perfect. Daytime! So now I know that, like, daytime happens at, like, 6.45, 7 o'clock in the morning, so that's good. Too bad that doesn't just, like, speed up this, too. <laughs> Imagine this thing, like, went that fast. Crazy. Jeez, that sound always scares me. The sound of the flag... This is America, home of the furry and the brave, with our stained flags and rusty poles. That rusty pole. Alright, so, I could swap tractors and try to get fertilizer. It, there's enough fertilizer in here, I think, to finish the job. We're literally like maybe six or seven passes away from it being done, so we'll let that finish. And I guess in the meantime, we might as well do a few more tree cuts. Or no, 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 no. I said I was going to do try contracts. What am I talking about? Do a contract. What contracts do we have here? Cultivating contracts are pretty nice. If I do my own cultivating, which I don't have my own cultivator, my own tractor, I could finish it on my own and make the most money, but I don't. Field 10 or field 9. Let's see how big field 10 and field 9 is, because the fields in this map are huge. Field 10. Yeah, it's a really huge field. Like, that would take longer than this is taken. And field 9, holy crap. 
It's are huge fields. Like this, this alone took a long time. For the time investment that it's going to take and the hiring I'm going to have to do to do that is not worth it. These fields are ginormous. If I can get like a job for field 15 or 14, that would be fine. Field 12, same thing. How could it be that? So what else we got? Cultivating field 24. What does field 24 look like? I think terrible. Field 24 is reasonable enough. I think that it would be okay, but not for that kind of money. Field 1. Field 1. That's probably the most reasonable one, but for the kind of money that it's going to cost, it's not worth it. All these jobs aren't worth it, considering how large these fields are. Field 22. It's still really large. It would take forever. Well, it doesn't seem like any of these are really worth the time. So, we are going to do more logging. And I really don't want to make you watch all that. That is a waste of an episode of you guys constantly watching me do this. Um, but maybe what I'll do is I will check in with you guys when I've done um, finished sewing. And I am about to transition to the next season. Um, and after I've done some more logging. Because there's no reason for you guys to watch me continue to cut trees. There's just really no reason. So... Thank you all for catching up with me in this episode. It's been great. This is Chuck Thunder. Thanks for watching. Take care.